Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Battle Brothers. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today because I reloaded the game again as, you know, I started the episode and started recording and this thing shows up, as I told you last episode, whenever you're looking for something, whether it uh, it be uh, an enemy or if it's a location, because there's some missions that require you to find a location, all you need to do is reload the game. I didn't do it on purpose, I mean, I mean, I did do it on purpose. The point is, I didn't do it with this thing, with the intention of having that pop up. Oh, the Pale Expanse. Wait, they changed places. Oh, this is bad news. To the west from you. Oh, really? Um, in the snow west from you, near Hornborg. Well, we're on the right track, but it is... Th th that actually was not too bad, because we... I mean... Uh, we didn't know where they were, and now we do. The, uh, the, the, the What I was saying, though... Ooh, look at that. A hedge Knight over here. Look at that big sword. That's just all good things. Uh, the thing that I was saying is I didn't reload with uh, the intention of uh, having that show up. I in reloaded. Oh, there's no doubt now. Yes, I know there's no ha doubt now. It's 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 fine. It just keeps pop show. Oh, there it is. Okay. Now there's a problem with our everything. Um, everybody's broken. So can we camp? Are they gonna attack? Oh, they're gonna attack! Why do they do this? I know why they do this, because they're terrible people. But, besides that... Actually, you know what? This is a great this is a great thing that has now transpired. Um, because we can basically kite them. And even camp a little bit for a change of pace. Yeah, we can kite the enemy. Uh, let's see. Hunt down, Barbarian King, and the war host. Um... So, it's in Gemmastein or Hewland. Uh, I believe it's one of those. It, it, the quest is down there. Um, the thing is... We can just go south. And uh, while we go south, not only do we heal uh, and repair our stuff. Uh, but Which is going to take a little while. But the thing is, like, we don't we don't need to worry too much about that. that guy, is that guy going to ruin things? That guy's not going to ruin things. What a curious situation. They think that they're better than us. And they, they very well might be. I didn't actually look... They don't have the Chosen, so, I mean, <laughs> I killed a bunch of Chosen. Um, but, but yeah, it's not, things are, yeah, it's dangerous. It's a, it's a, it's a new strategy, a strategy that I haven't used yet, ever. I wonder if they're gonna reassess their, their position in regards to how powerful they are. And I wonder if I'm gonna mess it around, or mess up, I suppose, the, the distancing. So, right now, we're looking at, uh, well, still, this, well, we're definitely doing work on our tools, but we're really, like, what what is most important right now is to spend the midday, to go past the midday, or the noon, go past noon, noon. Uh, and the reason, oh, this is interesting, oh, uh, I think they're gonna kill the trading caravan, it's from Hewland, do I like Hewland? I do like Hewland, oh, well, <laughs> they're trading with somebody else, it's, it's fine, it's probably not gonna matter. Uh, but the point is, uh, the point is, the um, since we do need to go south anyway, to oh yeah, they're definitely fighting there. Oh yeah, those peasants, those peasants know what's up. Okay, well, uh, the caravan just is gone. Uh, okay, these guys, that is interesting. Okay, we're almost at, at uh, past noon. I'm not sure if we have already passed noon or not. But the important thing is that this says we'll heal in one to two days. Now, it is possible that it will heal immediately. Uh, this will heal tomorrow, and that basically means that it will heal as soon as the as, as it's afternoon, I think. So we got a bunch of things that will heal tomorrow. That is good news. Uh, there, yeah, these peasants are all gonna die, uh, and also we yeah I think the the passing is yeah you can see we healed everybody. That's that's really good news actually. Uh, but the but yeah this is this is uh, oh those peasants they those those peasants they are they are not into this whole thing. Oh they're trying to use us as protection. Uh, poor peasants. They didn't know what hit him. Uh, I mean, they did. It's just the, they. Anyway, the point is, I, I am wasting a little bit of time because these guys are slower than we are. I'm not wasting too much time, but more importantly, we're we're like since we need to go down after or go south, after we kill them anyway. Uh, it's a good it's a good thing. Uh, now everything is repaired. That is a falsehood that I have just uh, proffered. Um, everybody's very unhappy with life. I can understand. Uh, how are our shields? 
How are our shields? Our shields are good. Armor is not. Okay, well, let's do this. It's probably not going to result in us dying. It's just barbarian thralls and reavers and drummers and kings. We, I can't believe we killed the king so early in the let's play. Uh, but they're rubbish. Look at them. Look at them all bad. They're all bad over there. Oh, God. Oh, such badness. Okay, uh, how do I want to do this? Do I want to send them south? Uh, where's the king? There's the king. So, do I want to send them south is a, a good question. I think I do. So, we're waiting with our archers. And look at them going south. That guy is not going south. But there's more people north. That's why he needs to help out with a... With the attack. Okay, so that is good news. Oh, that is good news as well. Look at that guy being an idiot. So U Uthuru is good. Oh, basically both Knight at Arms and Uthuru. Although they do start as steady. Huh. They both have issues with morale. Yeah. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Uh, either way, that guy over there needs to die. 51% is bad. Let's go with a 71 instead. That is a good hit, and uh, we'll we'll do good things with that. Uh, in fact, I can do good things with these. <coughs> oh no, you missed! That's not a problem. Uh, now, this guy is gonna have these two. No, I'm. At, mm, look at that guy over there. So I'm gonna move you right. I'm gonna move you right there. Potentially right there. Yes, I'm gonna move you right there because basically he's gonna prevent them from moving normally. Uh, although they can still jump over, because, you know, if somebody moves over there, then they can jump over through here. It's kind of complicated, but if I move you over there, that's probably going to be, be a good bet. And then you go over here and mess uh, mess up with that, uh, mess around with that guy. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, oh, that guy's got a spear and I don't like it. Uh, but still, I'm going to do this. And hopefully, oh, here come the king. Okay. And then we can go, oh, that guy's dead. Okay, well, uh, maybe I can do this. And uh, have some, pr or make, you know, be some protection. Uh, hmm, okay. Then going over there and killing you would have been, or attacking you anyway, would be a good thing. But if I did, no, I can do that. Okay. Ah, oh, I miss. Well, that's not a problem. Uh, go over there, smack you, and then you go over there. And this is definitely not going to result in bad things happening to anybody whatsoever. Because of, um, because yes, uh, absolutely. Okay, so this is dangerous. That guy is probably not going to be able to do much. So do I want to move in there? This is Brian. Mm. Let's just shield wall instead of getting ourselves into a tr more trouble than we're uh, bargaining for. That guy really needs to die though, because he's got he's got the things. Oh, look at those guys! They're upset. Okay, how about fifty? Fifty is a hit and a hit on but the wrong one. It's fine. Clinical is cynical. Has got a fifty-nine instead and misses the second one. That's not necessarily <clears throat> unexpected. And uh, the 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 frogs in throats are a little bit unexpected. <laughs> ah. Okay. Oh, trying to push me and stun me. I think that was a stun attempt. I'm not actually sure. It looked like one. Uh, that is drums. So apparently what the drums do... Uh, okay. Yeah, whatever that is, that didn't hit. Uh, apparently what drums do is they um, replenish the, the fatigue of everybody. So, yeah, it's dangerous to, to let them be alive or let the drummers be alive basically okay things are going well not for them mind you but you know still they're going well for me <laughs> that's that's all that matters those guys over there they're not gonna enjoy what's about to happen to them I mean I wasn't even expecting that so um, yeah well those guys are toast I think if they know <laughs> If I were in their situation, I'd be like, okay, well, I was just going over there instead. Because I'm not about to... I mean, I, I get that they're trying to get to our back line. And uh, they're really scummy for that. But... Ah, I missed the 57. But uh, that guy doesn't have a shield. I hit the one behind him. Oh, I hit both of them. Okay. Uh, this guy needs some help with his dying. Uh, this guy needs some help with his dying as well. There's a lot of that going on. Dying, I mean... Uh, how about you? Do you like dying? You do? You don't. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. Hello! Why'd you do these things to me? I want your armor. I will get your armor. Now, that does mean that I'm gonna need to... Uh, how do I do this? So I can't go over there. I can scare you a little bit, but do I want to scare you a little bit? Maybe. Oh, yeah. You're, you're thoroughly scared now. 
Uh, okay, well, I'm not going to be able to do much, but I might be able to move you down. Uh, so Elias is switching his weapon and getting uh, over there. That drummer is going to need a few shots to the face, but that's fine. I'm going to try and attack him there. Knight at Arms gets a kill. Um, unfortunately, I'm, no. No, I, I'm going to be able to... No, I'm not going to be able to do much with that. Pavel can go down there. And uh, we're going to start stabbing. Oh, that didn't work out as well as I wanted it to. Okay, how about you? You're not dead yet. This is very irregular. Also, Brian is going to switch his weapon. And uh, start stabbing. That sounded good. Uh, Phanius can move now, uh, but I'm not really sure if I want to. And then Knight at Arms is just going to go over there, because we need to hit you. And uh, let's see what happens. Drummer re replenishing the fatigue of everybody, and that guy missing, but trying to break my unique shield like a jerk. Okay, that was also pretty rubbish of you to do. Uh, how, how can I shoot that guy? Hello. Hmm. Yes. Uh, you don't have range. Not from there. That guy over there. Mm, 38. I want to shoot that guy, though. Let's see. What have I bought with my aggressiveness? I am very aware that I'm being aggressive. Also, well, I'm going to shoot you then. Okay, that was a good bet, actually. So I need to move down there. Uh, how am I going to do this? I'll just stab you once. I guess that's good enough. Uh, how do I do this? Move over there. Apply some injury to your face. And you down there as well. That's to your shoulder. Works well enough. Uh, and then I'm going to go over here and uh, teach you what's good. Oh, trying to break my shields. I don't like that. Pavel goes in and stabs a little bit. Uh, and then Roderick. Roderick is going to switch his dagger so he can stab a little bit better. And he does stab pretty well. Okay, this guy needs to die. That guy needs to die. Everybody dies. Uh, well, not everybody, unfortunately. That guy is also pretty upset about life. And also the fact that I stabbed him a little bit. Okay, well, that's good. Oh, he's going first. <laughs> that's not going to help you. <laughs> you don't You don't know what's up. Yeah, that doesn't help him. That does not help him. The drummer is still pulling all of those. Look at those breaks. Look at those fills. Mmm. Ah, yeah, that's that is that is a thing that happens when. There we go. Missing on a push attempt. Okay, Phanius gets a kill and uh, moves down here. I am trying to scare that guy. Um. Okay. Try not to break the armor either. But at this point, there there is armor piercing, so I might as well go for it. Because I'm not going to break the armor. Or does it change... Does it change the chance? I wonder. There we go. The chance of us getting that armor. Maybe it does. That is a, another thick-plated barbarian armor. And a lot of money, as well as some tools. Which uh, I'm sure are going to come in handy. Do I have room for all this? I do indeed. Just barely. I mean, not just barely. But that does mean we can return to Gemenstein. I was... Incorrect in, in, well, actually, I was thinking Hewland or Gemenstein. Yeah, we're going. We're also going to attack some of the, uh, some more caravans on the way there. We also leveled up. Clinically Cynical is doing his thing. Um, okay, do I want range defense on him? I do. Do I want resolve on him? Do I want stabby bits on him? Hmm... I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's irrelevant. Although, every once in a while it's good, but it's just it's such a crap shot anyway that it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to be able to make a significant dent there, so I might as well invest in a resolve, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, moving on then, our life is... Uh, well, I, it, it's going to depend on how our com company decides to travel the land, because... If we go north, which we do, then I'm going to Ascentorn. Ascentorn, potentially. They have kennels. They love me very much. 
They do love me very much. They have very cheap dogs, once again. And I keep killing my dogs, but uh, they also serve to uh, make sure that I don't die. So I like that. Um, hmm. So I got an extra dog over there. Uh, over here. So if I buy two dogs, which I am sort of tempted to do, I also should have repaired some of this stuff. In fact, all of this stuff, not just some. Um, the shields are rubbish, though. Yeah, I don't need that. So I want this. Those clock clubs are bad. And they should feel bad. Got some two-handed hammers and whatnot. So yeah, um, we're gonna get two dogs because they do mean they they are they are uh it's tremendous tremendous difference. So doggy for you, doggy for you. Uh, Thuru gets a doggy as well without armor. I'm sure it's not, <clears throat> it's not gonna be a problem. I am not carrying dog armor as far as I can tell, although I did make some of it. Uh, our food is, is in a good position. We're just gonna move, uh, and actually, oh, we're going the wrong direction. There it is. Um, I said that I was gonna attack caravans. At this rate, oh. Yeah, you can't attack the, the companies. Also, there's a sword master in there. Uh, at this rate, I might actually get attacked by, uh, by the people from that town. Because they have, they have militias, I think. I'm not 100% certain. So we're going to get a fair amount of money. We're definitely going to get a, fair, uh, a huge amount of money from um, from the, all the items that I have. That that I'm very much looking forward to that. We're also out of tools, so that's going to be fun. It's fine. Don't worry about it. A trading caravan. Who are you? You are from... Oh, Gemenstein. I don't want to attack you. You are friends. You're also coming through the forest? Oh, yeah, because there's no road over here, apparently. They... You think that they would make a road already because of the of the, all the places. Who are these? These are from Erdfall. All manner of goods. Erdfall is not uh, my enemy. I shall not kill them. Even though they have all manner of goods. Which is a lie. They don't give me many goods. Any goods, in fact. Oh, we're arriving. Before the end of... Before the night? Before the night, maybe? Baron Otto von Winterhall stares at the barbarian king's head like a cat would me uh, meanly stare at anything not in its own self, or not its own self. Interesting, says the Baron. I think I'll have it stuffed and put upon my mantle. Uh, speaking slightly out of turn, you remind your employer that it is the head of a man he is referring to. Baron Otto von Winterhall shrugs. So, it's a monstrosity. There cannot be coexistence between the civilized and the savage. That is a weird thing for me to remind him that it is a head of a, of a, of a person. Because it reveals that I know that he's treating it as a monster. Which you wouldn't think of when he says he's going to put his head over his mantle. But, whatever. It's daytime. They have rich veins. I do enjoy having a good amount of rich veins. Hopefully they have rich pockets as well. Um, they do have very good prices. I mean, not good price. They pay. They pay. You know what I mean. How much? How many tools do I need? Uh... I'm gonna need more than that. Okay, we're, we're, we're fine. We're fine on that. Let's see how much they're paying for our crap. They are paying 21%. Very, very good amount. Very good amount. So what are we looking at in terms of armor? We're looking at this one and then the rest. The, no, it's just the, the, the barbarian armor is just way too heavy. It's just way too heavy. And it already comes pre-upgraded uh, pre as well, so... It's a, it's a bit of a, a waste. The heavy horned blade helmet, on the other hand, is also way too heavy, but it is kind of good. Okay, so we're going to sell that in this, and we're going to keep the heavy horned blade helmet. Uh, the closed scrap metal helmet is also pretty heavy. Uh, yeah, it was just, like, brutally heavy. It's just unbelievable. Um, so we're going to keep those. Uh, let's see. We're selling these down here, except for that one. And then the shields, we're keeping six of them, as well as... Uh, I don't really need one of these Sipar shields so I can sell them. Keep those two, even though... Yeah, those are just good. Uh, then, Crude Axis. Unfortunately, we're still repairing some of them. One of these, don't don't sell it. Uh, this one only sells for... I'll, I could sell it right now. These are bad. These are indeed bad, so I'll sell them. We got these two uh, maces. That's good enough. We got some spears. We can sell that one. Uh, we got all of these heavy, rusty axes that sell for a tremendous amount. 400 and something each. It's unbelievable, uh, and also a lot of money from the actual chunk of the spoils that we have. Bundle of throwing axes, some good things. 
We got a lot of uh, poisoned oil, things that we can use, but maybe won't. And I'm still waiting, I'm still hoping that we are gonna find some mountain, whatever the big monsters are, because we need them. And now we are at 35,000. That's pretty good. And we also have missions over here, which is also pretty good. What do we have? I hear you have a nose for finding people, Sellsword, for solving problems. You nod. It is true, after all. Good. I have a task for you, a simple one. Something of great value has uh, value to me has been stolen. My rare coin collection. Absolutely. What is it? 1,200. I need to be paid more for it. No. Okay. Well, uh, follow the tracks near Gemenstein and return the rare coin collection to Gemenstein. Yes. Maybe. Potentially. Let's see what this one is, because it's about the price here. Did you get the last part, Sword? Of course you did. You're a smart guy. Oh, because I'm reading things. Maybe. It's it's a thing. You can tell me. Oh, well, actually, he can't. The price is sort of good. 2300 I would like to be paid more. I can get paid more. No. Does he? He shakes his head. I don't know what that is. Um, I think it's... No. Raid uh, the caravan going from Donnstad... Donnstad to Dichstad. Okay. Is that the bad guys? Or are you trying to get me? Oh no, it is not. It is not the, get the bad guys. I'm not getting into your war. I told you already, I think. Potentially. Uh, let's see. Tavern. Working the mines as its merits too, you know. We never get wet from the rain. It's just the dust that kills it eventually. Yes. It's called uh, Black Lung, I think, or something. There's like an old school name for for the disease. So we need to... Uh, this is a good mission because it means that we're going to come back anyway. So, yeah, the things are good. Things are good in the, for, for the Sinners of the Sword. Let's let's go. North. We're following the secret mine... No, what is it? It's like a... Hopefully I'll be able to spot those. those I'm not sure where we're going, actually. Oh, there they are. Um, yeah, the, the, the coins. The, the, the treasure. The, it's not a treasure. It's, it's just a stupid coin collection. Brigands, of course. Just as your employer had thought. And we... Killed them all. Oh, they have good things. I like good things. I also like being able to move, which I probably can't because it's a freaking swamp. Uh, let's shoot that guy over there. One of them has a better crossbow, and I don't know which one it is. They seem pretty reticent to attack us. But since we're pelting them with arrows, or bolts anyway... Which one is... It's a marksman... I don't know. I don't know which one it is. I'm missing all my shots. I mean, they're behind a tree, though, so it makes some sense. Um, spear walls while we can, and F everybody else. Sounds good. When I say F, I mean um, it's the end turn. It's like F, F, F. Or space, if you want to wait. Or also uh, ends the turn. The... Uh, spacebar also ends the turn right now, for example. Uh, if I, I just pressed spacebar there. So that guy over there, 47, misses and hits. That guy over there, 49, 59, and gets a kill. Can't shoot the guy in the back? Oof, that was brutal. What did you do to his eye socket? You grazed it? No, I didn't. That looked a little bit more than a graze. Okay, uh, that guy's throwing things that will break our shields if we're not careful. And uh, I have... I forget. I forgot that I have... Wait a minute, what the heck do you have? A warbow. I forgot that I have a warbow. I need to buy more. But of course, we're out of money, so... Ah, well, that's an overwhelm. That's not too bad. Okay, that guy is getting into range of um, attack. And I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, we're not going to do anything with you. Uh, you're going to shield wall. Uh, you're going to stay there. You can stay. You can spear wall and stay. Although I should have shielded you, shield walled you as well, but we're gonna be fine because I'm gonna move down here and spear wall and shield wall. So I'm trying to defend against that guy. Okay, it wasn't too bad that uh, that we shield walled where we did, and this guy likely won't be able to attack anybody. In fact, at this point, this guy moved into his his uh, his place. Everybody's very unhappy with. Oh, that guy doesn't even have an arm uh, weapon. That's how much of a scrub he is. Uh, okay, I'm gonna be able to shoot you and kill your hat. That's that's what I do. I kill hats here. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, hi. That is a 
smart decision, actually. That was pretty good. That's very good usage of uh, of your uh, rotation. That is smart as heck. And they're trying to break break my shield, which is not smart at all. Uh, let's see. So I can kill you. Mm -hmm. There we go. Lovely. And I can shoot you. Uh, and you're running away, which is not ideal. However... Oh, that's a miss. I was going to say, however, good things will happen. But that's not necessarily the case. Let's send Pavel over there. I'm really concerned about that guy. Let's send Madlarkin over here. And uh, Fanis over there. And I think we're going to be fine. Elias scares that guy, which is pretty sweet. And uh, I might be able to move down here and try to start scaring you. We can rotate, maybe scare you with that. No, I cut your head off. Okay, that works as well. It's a little bit more permanent than stupid scare. Mm -hmm. That guy is trying to lose all of his bones. Oh. Mm hmm Yeah. <laughs> Attacking Phanius. How cute. No. That's not gonna happen. Oh, I should have. Oh, well. Oh, we do need to, uh, yeah, it's, it's fine. I, uh, I was gonna say we, uh, shouldn't have done that, but I definitely should. Uh, Ilias stays, and then, because, you know, Roderick needs to get his damage on. Knight at Arms, not so much. In fact, Knight at Arms is sort of like he can't do anything on. There we go. He did it. He did it. And Pavel gets a head cut. And nobody leveled up, but I wasn't really expecting anybody to. But we did get some sweet stuff. Some really cool things, actually. It's like a thousand just in, in money, I think. Nah, maybe not a thousand. Uh, the axe and the... The two axes are pretty good, but the sword is the most expensive one. Yeah, we got pretty good money out of that. That's, I, I'm, li I'm liking that. That was pretty good. Those who stole the rare coin collection are dead. And thankfully, you were able to find the item itself. Baldur of Gemenstein will be most pleased with your work here. And yes, yes he will. But, well, that's the, the our work is done for right now because we're out of time. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Battle Brothers. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.